All right, everybody, sorry for the background noise. My printer is running, but I just wanted to show you in the new uh, supposedly stable version of Kira 4.2. Uh, let's go and see what's new. There is a special setting in here for Smart Z-Seam, a new option to increase the aesthetic quality by hiding the Z-Seam. It'll hide it uh, at the least visible place or, if possible, inside the model. So uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how to turn on this setting today so you can get some seamless models and in order to do that you need to go into the shell you need to click on the settings and you need to scroll down or you can type it in here it's not a big deal um, until you get to this tick right here uh, so go ahead if you don't want to search for it and type in seam corner preference okay this is going to allow you to choose where to hide the, the seam, okay? So um, I close that because I have it ticked and I go down here to where it says seam corner corner preference um, and I can click a couple different options. Now if I hover over this, it'll tell you what they do. Uh, it says exposed seam makes the seam more likely to occur on an outside corner. Hide or expose makes the seam more likely to occur at an inside corner. Uh, smart hiding allows both inside and outside corners. Um, hiding the seam makes the seam more likely to occur on an inside corner. So what we're going to do is go ahead and do hide seam. So I have my Z seam alignment set to user specified. Um, I'm going to leave it at user specified. And basically, yeah, that's how you hide the seam in one of your prints with the new Kira 4.2. So um, this is a new update. It's one thing that they just added in. Uh, Let's go ahead and look at some of the other stuff that's new. I also wanted to point out that they now have the Creosum mod in here. So when you go to install this for the first time or even to add a printer, you can add the Ender 3 directly um, using the Creosum mod. So that's perfect. You don't need to do any updating or anything else. So uh, quite a few bug fixes. I'll let you read through those on your own. Um, but there is also a layer view linear line type uh, so they've kind of changed the color scheme there. They've made AMF files compatible, and they also added uh, an orthographic view. Now, this is going to be similar to your CAD views that lets you view it from directly to the left or to the right. And I believe those buttons are down here. So um, there I can cycle through my or orthographic views, go back to my perspective. Let's go ahead and throw a model in there. I'm in the middle of printing a chess set, so we'll just throw this in there. Um, and I've been reducing it because it's rather large. Uh, but basically, let's check it out. There's the orthographic front, ortho top, okay? Um, and it does all sides. So that's actually pretty sweet. Um, the other thing that's awesome about this is now when I click the slice button, it's going to say something to let me know that it's slicing instead of just making me madly click it 15 times thinking it didn't work. So there it goes. It says processing now. So, and then it jumps over and starts slicing. So, a couple cool updates. Uh, things seem to be running smoothly. And my prints are coming out pretty nice, guys. Um, it's not quite done yet. And I want to get this video up to show everybody where that hide Z seam feature is. But uh, as of right now, yeah, things are going pretty good. So, definitely give it a shot. Check it out. You can always downgrade if you don't like it. But I'm liking some of the new features. And I've just gotten into exploring them. So,